Greetings and salutations everybody, Lord X here coming at you with another episode of GM Mode. And we are going to our first show after the pay-per-view. Uh, still no Hall of Fame trophy process. Uh, we're almost there. Maybe like three quarters, or three quarters of the way. <laughs> a quarter of the way to the uh, earn 1.5 million in a lifetime. So we got a lot of ways to go here in order to get that stuff. So first off, we'll go to our show logistics, book here what we can, which is not a whole lot. Now we still have a feud going between Asuka and uh, Rhea Ripley. Where is Rhea here? Oof, she is low down on the popularity and is not happy. That's not great. We have got to get some people boosted up here. Caden Carter is really high up. Low stamina at the moment, though. Oy vey. Uh, we do have a power card, which I am instantly going to be using on her. All right. So let us go to our show here. Our main event match this week will be Asuka versus Rhea. Both of them have good stamina, so I will make this for the title. Our opening contest this week. Drew and Butch are both at a level 1 rivalry. Where is Butch? Butch is right there. He's also a face. So we need to change a little something here. So we will do a role change with Butch. Then we will do a call-out with Drew calling out Butch. You turn your back on these fans. Alright, oh boy, we are hurting on stamina through a lot of people here. That's not great. Not great at all. We might be able to get our women's tag champs into some kind of feud. Uh, Cameron Grimes, he's got 54 stamina. We couldn't have him in a match. All right, let's go Ricochet versus, I guess, Julius Creed. He's our fuck. He is high up there in popularity. So we'll have those two in a match, a specialist and a bruiser. Uh, stamina 100, stamina 80. These guys can go at it in an Extreme Rules match. Uh, next up here we'll do a Tag Team. And here we will do our Tag Champs. Damage Control. And can we do Shotzi and Caden Carter? No title on the line. Alright, next up here we will go... Walter has definitely got a rest. These two are in a rivalry, so you know what? We are going to go Fatal 4-Way. We will do Dexter Loomis. Mustafa Ali. Robert Roode. And Brutus Creed. Actually, I want to rotate some people around here. Let's go Brutus first. Then Roode. Then Mustafa. Okay, and finally our next call-out promo here. So we just had these two feuding for the title. So we should have them facing different people now. Let's do a call-out. Cameron Grimes. Let's have him call out Cody. Now let's go back over to our power cards. I would like that, but we really don't have the money to spend on that right now. Uh, three randomly booked sewers get from match next week. Cannot be used the week before a PLE. Hmm. That's not great either. All right. Let's uh, build Walter back up. And as I looked at that, what's our commissioner goal? Rest your female tag champions this week. Look, Hunter, they need to fight. <laughs> 
<laughs> they absolutely need to fight. I should probably have Ricochet and Walter feud over the title next. Or is there any f interesting free who oh, Kofi would be great, but we, again, we don't have the money for that right now. We could bring in Johnny. Could bring in Johnny. Indies also there. Very low popularity, though. I have thought of it restarting this GM mode because maybe editing everybody's specialties was a bad idea. <laughs> or uh, what kind of class they were. Because, yes, it gives me more freedom, but uh, I'm starting to think maybe that was such a great idea after doing a normal mode myself. But we'll, we'll continue for now. Uh, I'll go up towards the next pay-per-view. We'll see how things are going. But, yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right. So, yeah, that this is going to be our show this week. Do we have tag? Oh, right. That's not a tag match. We do have tag team champions there. Stamina is pretty rough on Io and Caden, but we're going to have to deal with it. All right. Let's do it. Ricochet and Julius Creed. One, two, that's three. Ring the bell. Ricochet picks up the win. Great match. No rivalry started. Butch with a good heel promo. One, two, ring the bell. Ooh. A mediocre match, too. That's not great. Well, that rivalry increased. Okay, that's good. All right, our fatal four-way match here. And Brutus picks up the win. Okay, feud. Yeah, rivalries might have increased there. Cameron calling out Cody ended up in a good... Uh, stared at a rivalry, so that's good. Asuka and Rhea. And Asuka defends her title in an amazing match. No rivalry increased. Great. All right, over on to WCW, you got Lacey Evans versus Dana Brooke, Stacy Keebler calling out Carmella, you got Shanky versus J.D. Mc, McDougal, I can never pronounce his last name, McDonough, McDougal, I don't know, uh, Carmella with a self-promo, Logan Paul taking on Shawn Michaels, a promo from Elias, and your main event is a Falls Count Anywhere match between Sheamus and Shinsuke Nakamura, simulate the entire show. Uh, let's see here, NXT has Braun versus Santos in a Hell in a Cell match. Randy Orton versus Karrion Cross, Ivar versus Jay Uso, and your main event is Dewdrop versus uh, Queen Zelina. With Charlotte calling out Zaya, Bad Bunny doing a charity promo, and Zaya Lee doing a self promo. And finally over on SmackDown you got Liv versus Bailey. You got Brock versus Finn, Damian per sorry, <clears throat> sorry, Damian Proust versus Solo Sokoa, and your main event is Tamina versus Nikki Cross in a TLC match. Meanwhile, Zoe Stark is doing a charity promo. MVP is calling out Brock Lesnar and Rey Mysterio, who <laughs> who walloped his son last night on SmackDown. Tells you when I'm recording this uh, in a self promo. So we're going to simulate the entire show. We had good booking. Uh, Ali and Rue at level 2. I think that's the way it was. So that we got a level 2 there. Level 1 started there. Alright. Love tonight's for all. Looking forward to next week. Oh boy, man. I don't know what you're watching, but it wasn't this show. Uh, fan change, 51,000. And we got $57,000 redos. WCW gained 48,000 fans and $67,000 redos. Uh, NXT got 51,000 fans and $36,000 redos. And finally, SmackDown got 44,000 fans and $28,000 redos. So, we completed a seasonal challenge and got a double, double cost card. Cool, we're still in first. Should have checked to see what we could have gotten from that uh, commissioner challenge, but 
Oh, well. So, we're still in first. Uh, we got about a 70,000 lead, or 62,000, something like that. Yeah, roughly 62,000 on NXT. They're very close to WCW, who is very close. Who's not that close to SmackDown. SmackDown is... They are struggling right now. Anyways, folks, that's going to do it for me for this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I have been Lord X. You have been awesome. And I'll see you on Friday. Bye.